Hello guys, my name is Kyle Osiris, also known as Kyle 202, and today I am joined with Dane. Hello. Man of Steel! I am oh, a Man God. of Steel myself, so I will be able to relate to this because I am so strong. <laughs> See, that's the difference between me and Clark Ken. I just walked out the womb, man. I wasn't no, crying. I just walked it. out. When I got out of the womb, I was fucking dead. <laughs> literally, man. I was literally What do you dead. mean, dead? Oh, what do you mean, dead? <laughs> I was just fully dead when I got out of the womb, man. Well, right off the bat, very good intro. Feel like I've been thrown straight into the action. That's kind of what I like, to be fair. Looking pretty decent. Nothing criminal about the CGI. I'm liking it. What's that? What have you done? We've had a child on Krypton's first natural birth in centuries. One problem that I'm finding with this so far is that it's saying these things that don't matter at all to the viewer because we didn't know this previously. Is it acceptable though? Because it's the intro? No, no, no. For some of the things it's acceptable, but that whole thing, the first natural birth in centuries, that does not matter. There is literally zero point of you saying that. <laughs> Laura, listen to me. The Codex is Krypton's future. Abort the launch. You see, I'm not sure about that launch there man feel like we should have had a situation where he knew what was going and he's trying to stop that launch instead of finding the other guy he goes for her to stop the launch but then the other guy is trying to stop him from stopping her from starting the launch instead of him just fighting the other guy and then her starting the launch anyway i feel like there should have been more conflict there he should be trying to stop her and we should be able to see that and we should be able to see that the other guy is stopping him from stopping her from starting the launch. You feel something here? I don't feel anything, but I probably would have if they did what I just said a second ago. Exactly. It's annoying though, because the scene probably wouldn't be like the same amount of time, wouldn't it? If they did what yeah, I exactly. said. It's not like it's not it's not like it's gonna add more time. It's not like these people can just go, nah, that'll, that'll take too long. That'll add too much to the story. Like that it's already two hours and twenty minutes. No, it would still be the same amount of time, probably, that scene. And it's just that one little crucial change that makes it so much better. Also, this codec or whatever's going on. See, no established whatsoever. They're making it seem so important, yet it seems so easy to get. Exactly. That's like, what, two or three huge flaws already? Do you feel something here, man? Do you feel something Not here? Not a single bit. Why? Not a single fucking bit. Is this film supposed to make me feel... I notice a lot of films make me feel angry for some reason. Why is that? Why is it that I'm feeling anger? Is that what the film is trying to do? Is it trying to make me feel angry here? Sorry, not anger. Annoyance. Angry. I, I'm annoyed. It, you're annoyed because we could make something better in our sleep. <laughs> can't what be bothered! What, what, what was that short? She strutted along like she lost a chopping trolley, man. <laughs> I can't be bothered. You know what made that a bit, maybe a bit more impactful? If he killed him, looked at her with a, the blankest eyes you would have ever seen, and she looks at her husband and just closes her eyes, and the camera just either pans away or just shows him just slashing her down. Why is this too a, easy to us? It would have established that he was the villain. And B would have made us maybe a bit more angry here. Or sad. I don't fucking know what we're supposed to feel here, man. How have I thought about that in a second of seeing that scene, man? It's criminal oh. how easy we make it sound. Are we making it seem too easy? And the reality is it's not that simple? <laughs> Those are like dicks. <laughs> Shouldn't you find refuge? There is no refuge, Kilo. Jarrell was right. This is the end. We're um, struggling to care, right? Definitely. But well, since we are about 18 minutes in, and this is kind of like the intro that brings us into the action and also introduce Superman, do you think that was intentionally done? No, no, we should still care. 
I mean, what, 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 what am I saying? Actually, I literally came up with a. <laughs> yeah, we literally exactly came up with true. scenes that would make us care. What am I on about? I can't be bothered. Okay, G. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> we have got to go. Oh no. That was a man. Why do I feel like they should have started with this instead of what they did before? They should. They sh they should have started with him. I feel like I care yeah. more. I feel like that build up has made me not care about this, which I would have cared about if it was at the start. Okay, that's that was decent. Him being able to like see through things is like one of his like famous powers, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. X-ray vision. Okay. I'm pr I'm pretty sure I didn't know about that until I saw this film actually. So that's that's really decent. Showing his superpowers quite quickly and effectively. Again, nice use of showing his powers. What's wrong with him anyway? He's such a freak. Oh god, not a typical dialogue again, man. I hate this dialogue. I hate high school dialogue when it's done like that. You can tell it's written by adults that don't know how high schoolers speak. <laughs> whales! I just get more for them fucking whales than I do anyone else. <laughs> I feel like there shouldn't have been a time skip. There should have been a scene of them like getting a fucking huge shockwave. This yeah, it thing. also it also kind of makes it like when they go forward in time, like it kind of resets the movie kind of when we have like new and characters. It goes you know, it goes forward in time just to go back in time. Like, uh what do you think? Do you see the game? Shut up, Ginger. Be bothered. Wait, is this a flashback or is it? I don't know. It's a flashback. Is the main problem the pacing right now? Yeah. Yeah, because it's putting people we don't care about in danger. And I feel like since he isn't really established as Superman, it kind of comes out of nowhere. And you kind of just look at it as like, oh, okay. Shouldn't we get that hype moment when he does it for the first time? Instead of just, oh, okay. Like, say he's already had a prequel to this. Exactly. It's like, no, you have not been established that you can do that. So when you do it, it just turns into an okay instead of a hype moment. Like that extra scene where it, it establishes that he can have extra vision is good. That was good. But that should have been in a place where he actually used extra presence, not just it randomly. The only emotional build-up we have that backs this up is that guy calling him what? A dick splash? I can't be bothered. Is this is this film a joke? Am I watching an April Fool's film right now? I can't be bothered. Yo, tell me after that. No one is like, yo, what's wrong with you, man? There's also another massive problem to him saving people so quickly. Just it's the fact that when he really saves people true. further on in the film, we won't care. Yeah. Because we'll just be like, oh, we've seen you do that many times but who knows i might be wrong because they might do something that's bigger and better than these little these little things come on let's have a man's talk i know you did but we talked about this oh clark you have to keep this side of yourself a secret now this did get a seven on imdb think about it are you sure there isn't something wrong with just us two man <laughs> Definitely not, man. Definitely. Are you there's sure no there's like way. some sort of like? Are you sure we're not just like hating right now, man? <laughs> we came here uh, unbiased as possible. I'm trying to be unbiased, but this film is proving that being biased against it is the correct thing to be. <laughs> we found you in this. This was in the chamber with you. This is happening way too quickly, right? Oh, way too quickly. Like we just saw it, like what, like ten minutes ago? Yeah. It's like... Can I just keep pretending I'm your son? You are my son. That does sound like decent dialogue. It just doesn't work. We don't care because we don't care about the characters. Oh this my... This dialogue is actually decent. You owe it to yourself to find out what that reason is. You saw that like two minutes ago, man. Why are we seeing it again? I can't be bothered. You see, it's it's showing that has that has significance. But that significance was never established previously. I'll probably just leave when I'm good and ready. 
There he is. I like this scene. I like this scene because it shows that he can con he can control himself. Big problem with it though. And you know exactly what that problem is, right? <laughs> Uh, we don't care. We 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 don't care. We we don't care. We we, we don't, don't care. Give a single shit about any of this, man. That's really good, but I don't care. Oh, it's not worth it, sweetie. That scene was actually really good. It was so good. Don't I actually love that. I remember that scene like dead ass. Remember that whole scene because it's so memorable. But I don't care. Hi. What's this? There's a glaring problem with this man that I'm already. We don't know what's going on. The piercing is terrible. What's... We the... don't know where we are. We don't know anything about Why this, is it but... that Superman's life is literally flashing before my eyes? <laughs> No, that's Lois Lane. Okay. Did they think about this movie? Like, did they genuinely think about this movie? Because I feel like when we get to the end of this film, you're not even going to be able to say what you normally say for loads of films, which is maybe they thought about the ending before they actually thought about anything else. I'm, I'm worried that you're going to come out of this film saying, yeah, they literally didn't think. They just, <laughs> just they just roll. The only reason I'm here is because one Canadian soil in an appellate court overruled your injunction to keep me away. Oh, is that why you're here? I don't care. <laughs> so far, this is a fucking like three, man. I'm tempted to say fucking two, man. So am I, to be honest, because it's like, what's going on? Why do I not care at all? <laughs> it, it, oh. It's actually weirdly so bad to the point where I don't think it can get worse. The only thing I think it can get worse by is it dragging. Because we still have another hour and 44 minutes. So because of that, I feel like we should rate this now and then rate this in like 40 minutes to see if it's improved. Yeah, uh, right now it's a two. <laughs> I'm saying yeah, right it's now. a two. It's, it's a, a two. two. Oh, fuck off. Who is you? Where if that's his father, man. I can't be bothered. No, no his, his dad is definitely dead. No way. <laughs> was he first? Was he first by that? Because I was. I feel like the glaring problem with this scene, man. This is probably like what, like the first time he's actually like seen all this weird he, stuff. Yeah, this is this is the first time he's seen anything from his planet. Other the than, problem like, is the spaceship and the thing. The problem is. We saw that not so long ago, to the point where this looks normal to us. And for some reason, it looks normal to him, even though it shouldn't. <laughs> Let me just quickly Whatever. check who directed this fucking film. I had no idea that it was this man. And now I'm scared. And now I'm scared I'm wasting my fucking time. It's Zack <laughs> Snyder. I can't be bothered. No, no. Fuck off. Who's that? That's his dad. That is his dad. We could make a better story about trash than <laughs> this film that is just trash. The reason why I can't accept this as a hologram is the fact that it doesn't have the same like movement as everything else that's been like a hologram type thing. Which adds to the, the fact color. that it feels like he hasn't even died still. <sighs> How is he speaking to him, man? I can't be bothered. How, how is he actually responding? How did he know where he is? No, he knows where he is because he's the one that sent him there. Child. No, I mean, how does he know where he is to look at him? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fuck me, I don't know that. That's what this symbol means. The symbol of the House of L means hope. Embodied with okay, so at least they addressed what it actually potential. Yeah, they also did that at the start as well. Did they? Yeah, the only difference is now we're hearing it with a guy that doesn't look like he cares. I should feel high, but I don't. Why have I played Lego games with better stories than this? Why have I seen Peppa Pig episodes with better storylines than this? <laughs> I can't oh, be bothered. You know, you know, we can't watch Peppa Pig. We, we actually do? That. Because Peppa Pig episode 1, <laughs> even though the characters are not established, I'll probably still like Peppa Pig more than I like Superman, and that is the most criminal thing I thought I would ever say in my life. <laughs> Wait, w w okay, what what good things do we have? Well, let's talk about the good things, man. We need to clear out <laughs> we this negativity. Try. We need to get back we to the good things. Alright, 
We got that scene some in the of, bar. Some of the scenes were good. Some of the scenes were good. We had that scene in the bar. That was a good one. When he pushed him and he, he went backwards instead. That was really good. I actually really liked that. Some of the dialogue was good. Dialogue. Specifically the one where he was in the barn and they showed him the thing. Yeah. Dialogue would definitely hit. I forget about the characters. I give them that. Is that it? Ah, that's it. Is there's got to You've be already said else, all the good things, man. There's got to be something else, man. I beg. <laughs> <laughs> Not useful. I didn't say that. My family's been farming for five generations, Clark. Your family. Not mine. I don't even know why I'm listening to you. You're not my dad. You're just some guy who found me in a field. Clark! Oh my god. Now, the, let's talk about that, that dialogue. Oh my god, we were just complimenting the dialogue and then that happened. That atrocity, man. Why is he's that talking like a 14 year old and he looks like he's 20, man? What's going on? He's acting like an edgelord on Twitter. <laughs> Go for the overpass. Go for the overpass! Wait, this is when uh, Clark didn't, hasn't established that he has powers, right? This is, yeah, this is like. But no, because we just of... saw him with, with that thingy vision, right? And he was looking. Oh, yeah, yeah. We saw him with x ray vision. So, does and he. Also, he eyes and also strong so yes. so he knows he's strong yes so why is his father doing this instead of him is he is he is he supposed to be like a teenager back then because that would make more sense but he actually looks older so he's he's, he's meant to be a teenager clearly. okay i accept it i accept it if he isn't meant to be a teenager then that dialogue was terrible and even then it's still terrible get your lawn to the overpass what do you mean oh my god you're being dumb you're just being dumb there <laughs> Oh my god. You better get your ass over there, man. I still care more about the whales than any other character in this film. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm keeping no, no, no. I did something stupid here. Let me die, man. Can't be bothered. Hey, yo, hey, yo, look, my bad. <laughs> Oh no. <coughs> damn, this film giving me COVID, man. God damn, it's that bad. Another good thing we've got to mention is the casting choice for Superman. I actually really like Henry Cavill. I, I do like Henry Cavill. I think he's a real actor, and I feel I feel like they cast him very well. I feel like yeah. I can believe him as Superman. Well. I feel like the script was so dog sh There's another thing I want to ask you about as well, because I don't know if it's just me, but the overall vibes to this movie and stuff like Batman vs Superman and Justice League, like the overall vibe for it, doesn't hit right with me. I don't know what it is, but it's like the colours of it. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Yeah, no, no. The colours that for a Superman film, they they're too dark. Yeah, that, like, yeah it's, it's like that. Light. For Batman, I think it works actually. Yeah, no, Batman. For Batman, it it does work. Like he his entire thing is like edgier colours. He's, he's yeah, a lot it, it kind of fits him. Yeah. I can feel Batman, but with Superman with this film, I don't know the vibe. It's Putting me off. I don't like, know what when it is. You, when, no, when you hear Super, the first thing you really think of is bright blue, bright red, bright yellow. Exactly. Because that's his outfit. And his outfit isn't even like bright. That in well, actually, I don't even know because we barely even fucking seen it. <laughs> but the vibe from this movie overall, I don't know. I don't think it suits Superman. It gives me like a uh, feeling. Yeah. No. I, I definitely feel that. I found Ooh. We barely met the parent that raised you, man. Shut your mouth. <laughs> man, man, man. She does look like the Martha, to be fair. The way she's acting. <laughs> like, if we got a lot more scenes from her, I could tell. I'd definitely be like, I like this Martha. I could definitely tell. But since I haven't got enough scenes right now, I'm sorry, Martha. But I don't care about you. Okay, at this point, we're kind of just repeating ourselves, saying we don't care. So instead, I'm just going to let Henry Cavill say it. No, the truth about you is beautiful. I don't care. I don't care. That thing is looking to make a dramatic entrance. I don't care. I don't care. My name is General Zod. I don't care. I don't care. Are you watching this crap? Yeah, I'm watching this crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> the entire world is being threatened here. I don't care. I don't care. Don't play games with me, General. 
I'll surrender. I don't care. I don't care. My name is Dr. Emil Helt. I know. I can see your ID tag in your breast pocket. Along with a half-eaten roll of wintergreen. See these things, these little mini things are so good. Oh my god. It's so good. But I don't care. Because I literally haven't been given a reason to care, man. Let's put our cards on the table here, General. I like that! I was waiting for oh, that! I actually remembered so cool. that! I remembered that because it's memorable. Kavel, I'm subcommander for your- I don't care. You have no idea how long we've been serving. I don't care. I was Krypton's military leader. I don't care. Why am I facing a problem that I faced in Kong? I low-key want the villain to win. Mm, that's interesting. Why? Because I just don't care enough. To the point where if the villain did win, I'd be way more interested and engaged. Whereas if what happens, yeah, yeah. if what yeah. I think is going to happen happens, I'm going to sit here with the same face. You mean what you know is going to happen? He's going to get his neck snapped in the most anticlimactic death scene of all time. Safe travels, Miss Lane. It's highly unlikely we'll be seeing each other again. How the fuck does she know her name? I can't be bothered. And some of the dumbest shit I've ever fucking seen. Oh my god, this script is literally dog shit. Oh, it might be, a, it might be a bit undercooked. Wait, what's undercooked? Th there should be a bit less blood. Um, whatever. Blood from what? The chicken. There's still. I can visibly. Oh, oh, see, I put oh, my fork oh, in the chicken oh, and the blood <laughs> came out. I took a bite in it and where there's bone, I can just see red. <laughs> How is Superman getting hurt more than Captain America? <laughs> that is one good thing I could say about oh. If I cared about oh. Superman, I would actually feel scared here. Forever human you say, we will kill a million more. I don't care. Oh, that was so mad. No! Never. I don't care. I don't care. Glad to be here, Lois. End. <laughs> Thank you. No. All right. What were we giving that film critically? I'm Who? tempted to give it a fucking one, but I. Uh, it's a two. It's a, oh, it's a two. But, oh. Did you say two point five for those little subtle? No. 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 Okay. Okay. No. Average viewer. Average viewer. Five. I still feel like average viewer people, if they're paying attention to the fucking plot, would be like, wait, what? But I mean, the fact that you got a 7 and an IMDb, though, you also got to take that into account. <sighs> I have little faith in humans at this point, man. Yeah, sure, it's a fuck. Yeah. The average person. Well, guys, thank you for watching our pain while watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe because I lost a subscriber today and I'm actually going to cry myself to sleep because of it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.